Yeah, we do, but the thing is, he's already got his core tubes and his caps and that in that bag for EBA number three. Yeah. But that isn't, is it in, those aren't in SCB-3, are they? Yes. So they put rocks in? Or I put them on the EBC, how would that be? That's fine, that's that big cap is empty. Saying, but I'm not sure. Okay, uh, Charlie, you called out that you put uh, two core tubes and John's crystal rocks in SCB-3. Uh, that should have uh, some empty core tubes and core uh, caps in it. Is that, could you straighten that out? Uh, we, uh, it, it had two core tubes empty that we used. Uh, uh, we used the bag, Tony, that's true. That oh, was, Charlie. That, excuse me, John. That was set yeah. for EBA-1. I mean, EBA-3, uh... There's no problem as long as you took those core tubes and uh, core caps uh, out. Well, we got the core caps out, but we didn't get the core tubes out. And I don't know whether... Uh, we must have used them. This here has a couple of core caps in it, too, Charlie, number one. How about core tubes? Have they out? A couple of core tubes in the Oh, good. Okay, well, take those out. Are they empty? Yeah, they're empty. Okay, put them under my seat. Sure, they're empty? Yeah, positive. Unless they got a cap on them, they're empty. Okay, Tony, we found them. Okay, good show. Okay, uh, SCB-3 is going to go up with us. The SRC is going to go up with us. And I'm back in ETB now. Okay. okay, I'm going to put these two bags under under your seat, Charlie. Okay. Now, uh, here's uh, something like that. That's it, better. <laughs> you can just leave those bags out, John. Well, the bags weather all right out here oh, in the yeah. sunshine? Oh, I think they'll make it. Okay. Yeah, they got them in Where's your uh, camera, John? I need your camera. You got those rocks and the bags that you tossed under the seat? Yes, that's uh let's see there's one no, there's one over there I think at the corner. It's at a no we got them all. Yeah, there it is. Hey, yeah, that's, that's a that's a glass ball that I found out there, Houston. Uh never said nothing about. Good, so let's bring that in. Put that.
Okay, SCB uh, number one is sitting over the barrel on a foot strut, Charlie. Okay. The mic's coming off the 16. Batteries into the sun. Okay, we see that, Charlie. Into the ETB. Okay. You want me to turn your La Crew power off, Houston? Anytime, Fly. Uh, okay. I'll to position yeah. the camera first. That's a point the camera Again. lens directly away from the sun and okay, all the way down. Okay, point the camera lens directly away from the sun and down first, and then you can turn the crew off. Also, when you get back to the LRV, we like uh, the uh, LRV readouts. We didn't catch those. Also, we want the LCRU blankets all the way open. And we'll need LCRU blankets all the way open. Point the camera away from the sun. That. They're all the way open now. Yeah, the camera directly down sun. And down at the ground. Down, huh? That's right. Up in the stop. Directly into the sun? Negative. Away, away from the sun down. and down. That's it. There's the sun. There's the camera. Okay. There's the down. That looks good. How did that old nursery rhyme go? Flight experience. Oh, I know. Yeah, to, uh, in a case like this, okay, the uh, sure we are coming over. good, we'd like to cool down. And you we'd know like what you're saying, like dust this? The right. first, that old nursery rhyme, this is the church, off, this is the steeple, the open the door, here's the people. Okay, two petty bags, we just go well, leave. I saw him just open the covers. Yeah. One set map we got, one mag from back, one mag, okay, it's all loaded. Yeah. Petty bags well, are staying out of the seat, you can go. Okay. Okay, and the ETB's coming over, and I'm going to hook it on the... And uh, the batteries do need dusting. All right, we thought it'd come off those covers. reach better. Like that. Those look through, yeah. Man, we got a lot of rock. Good show. Only, only way to the name of the game. Charlie. And we don't have Big Muley yet. But don't let us forget to get Big Muley here. Ah, uh, we wouldn't that do that. That duty's coming in. It's hard to sleep with it. Okay, I'm going to get pallet two out. Okay, but enough food for the Trojan Army. <laughs> Johnny just comes right out of there. I had so much trouble. Okay, pallet two, Mesa. LOH can, Mesa. Hmm. Do we have that, Tony? I uh, already have the Lyle can up there. We already got it up there, don't we? That's right. Yeah, that went up yesterday, so. Okay, we don't worry about that. Okay, Houston, as you know, the one I have the most trouble getting is that mirror in the middle, which I understand is just a NAV system anyway. But I got it as best I could. It's a lot cleaner than it was. Okay, I understand. Both of the uh, Rover battery mirrors are, are uh, as good as they were when we got here. Okay. This one needs dusting, John. No, I ain't dusted it yet. Okay. I'm going over and kick off on the strut here. Boy, that shadow is getting short. Maybe we landed later than we thought, Charlie. Okay, and it's seven hours right now. Okay, two SCBs we got. 
Okay, looks like we're going to have everything. Comet, descent stage, two SSCs, descent stage. If they don't give us that LRV readout, wasn't that good enough for the one at uh, near Al uh, Station 10 there? Or do we still need it? No, we okay, want to John, I'm going to take I one of these up to the admin stage. Coming back in from Station okay. 10. We'd also like the battery yeah, temp reading. Yeah, we're going to keep going. Oh, 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 right. Right. Yeah. yeah, might as well just Did do it. Wait a minute, move, Charlie. Let me get it. Okay? Okay? Sorry. Not a question of... Experiments. Go ahead, experiments. We just don't want them to slip up and pull the circuit breakers first. We lose our reading. It's not designed Stop to fit in there, John. It goes in there. It's not flat like that, I bet you. Heck, Bob, I put it in there a minute ago. Clean off my RCU. That's the only other thing I wanted. Can you clean the top of it all? There we go. Let me get you.
Well, I'm not sure we're doing much good. I don't agree with you. But really, don't forget to kick your feet. I know it. Okay, turn around. It's mainly on the back of the cliff and the helmet and that kind of stuff. Cause we... And while you're working right on it there, there verify yeah. your antennas are down.
We're getting a yes, downwind I know that. the grid. We got to hand, hand over the upwind. Good show. We're going to do a handoff in a few minutes. We may use Clues Com for a second. Okay. Okay, Charlie, you got the uh, ETB loaded, right? Yes, sir. Big rock bag is on the is on the hand two carrier. Go flight. Go flight. Hey, you see any difference in signal strength between the two pluses? Can you tell that? I can't tell that. We can uh, see if somebody else can. Okay, John, that's got it. Uh, let me uh, cinch up on your harness just a little bit here. Okay. How you want me to get for that? That's fine. It's right there. Jump off the ground. Huh? <laughs> okay. You're done. Yeah, I better get. Uh, 
We left a Mesa Hito in. I never did get that. Spirit won't hurt. Tony? Try it, Charlie. If it's set right, it hadn't been running for the past three days. I, I never did get that Mesa Hito breaker open. Uh, remind me of that when we get back. Okay. After the EVA. Fine. Crown Crater and that uh, 
Okay. There's a big one to the bottom. No difference in the amplitude. One down on the first right. terrace and then one on the second terrace. Those three sort of uh, in a line coming home. We got it. Okay. Go next to the lab, Charlie. Okay, I'm coming. I gotta go to mode switch one before we start moving. Yep. That in your checklist? Yeah. Okay, well, let me get in. Okay, won't you mount in? EVA, he probably put that nav breaker in when he put all the others in, don't you think? Good for job yeah, there. Totally, totally yeah. Yeah. Good. Black. And then take your far field stereo. And then if you range on out as far as you can go, we'd like taking the 500 millimeter with you. Uh, take uh, and John with you. Take uh, a stereo of the inside of the crater with the 500 millimeter from as far far away from the rover as you can get. And then stick the uh, the 500 millimeter in uh, John's SCV. And then do your other far field polarimetry. And then from then on, all we've got is sampling. I think we probably ought to take all those things one at a time. I do too. Okay, fine. Hey, you want me to start out with the 500? Right, go ahead and start out with you your start uh, out with the 500. 500. Okay. Okay, Tony, I have magazine kilo frame count uh, one, I think it was. And we've got a okay. picture. Okay, those rocks you're looking at now, Tony, are white, and they look branches to me. Uh, the big black one is off uh, behind the TV. It's going towards the rim of the crater right now. The unfortunate thing about it, Houston, is that uh, the rascally rim uh, it goes down, it, it slopes into it about, uh, say, 10 or 15 degrees, which is the kind of slope I'm standing on right now. And then all of a sudden, in order to see to the bottom, I've got to walk another 100 yards down a uh, 25 to 30 degree slope, and uh, I don't think I better. Maybe we can drive around to the other side and see down into it. And is that a hole okay, in the ground? Okay, Tony, uh, uh, the inside, it really is. Uh, I see no bedrock, though. Uh, all I see is boulders uh, around the uh, crater. Uh, there's nothing that reminds me of bedding, uh, just loose boulders. Uh, though it might very well be it's so sharp that there could be real boulders, I mean, real bedrock there. Now, uh, the, uh, the layer, the boulder layer, are uh, horizontally oriented, and of course they're all colored, covered with talus. Uh, over on the uh, north wall in particular, about uh, uh, one third of the way from the top is a line of boulders uh, that you probably ought to be able to see on the t TV, but they're all oriented right in that line, which would lead one to think that it's uh, bedding there. Don't you see that, see that line right over there, Charlie? I, I don't, I'm, I'm trying to get this crazy camera going here, okay? And, uh... Okay, that line of boulders on the north camera. wall, what color were they? The wall. They, uh, in, the, in this light, they appear to be dark, dark boulders. Okay. Incidentally, the white rocks you see there, do they look like the, the cone crater type white rocks? No, not to me. Okay. Yeah, let me get a piece of one, Charlie. I don't think so. This is definitely a breccia right here, a big uh, foot and a half breccia. It's a white matrix with dark glass. And uh, it, it looks to be a three rock breccia. Some of the dark class have even darker class than those. OK, 
Okay, Tony, I picked up magazine Mike uh, it's on the 500. Okay. Okay, uh... Houston, I just picked up a, a grab sample of a, a breccia. It's very friable. It looks shocked. It has a black glass in it, back uh, uh, glass a couple of millimeters across. Uh, And the, uh, it's so worn down that, you know what it really looks like? It looks like a, uh, if I can use the analogy, I'm not sure what the heck it is. It looks like a, a, a tuft. But it just looks like a rock with, a, see, the glass are sticking out of it. That's what I'm saying. Okay, Tony, what, uh, what other pictures you want me to get with the 500? I've done the interior of the crater. You, you say you want Smoky or Stone Mountain? Okay, we'd like some more pictures of Smoky. Okay. And John, and then your yeah, mineral like description there, could okay, you see well, crystal shaders? Could I see a crystal shape? Uh, I saw one class. Well, I hate to keep bugging no. that dumb deck, but we never got confirmed that he turned it off. He was working with a TV. Now, the glass in there is very angular. Okay. Maybe that's a zap crater. That's probably what that acknowledge is. acknowledge that we ask him to turn it off. Right, right. I don't exactly. see in the, the white matrix doesn't have any uh, crystalline structure that I can recognize. Okay, fine. Capcom, did Charlie acknowledge he turned the DAC off? And Charlie, verify you turned the DAC off. Now, Tony, what is it you want me to do here? Yeah, I think so. I'll check again. Okay, after the 500 what millimeter. You, you want me to do here, Tony? Uh, we'd like uh, Charlie there to go ahead and take his far field uh, pan of the crater and go on around and do a full pan. It looks like you can probably do the whole thing from one place. And uh, John, we'd like you to start uh, ranging out in the most, uh, the best traverse direction uh, for about 80 meters if you can go that far. And uh, survey the area as you go out, and uh, Charlie will follow you along, and then sample as you come back. Okay, that'll be 80 meters to the uh, northeast here. Okay, fine. No problem to do that. And. Uh, Okay, Tony, uh, pan's complete, and I'm, I'm up to uh, 165 on magazine Mike. Okay. Okay, Tony, the, uh, uh, my description of the, of the crater is covered, 60% uh, of it is covered with boulders uh, up to uh, 3 meters. Make that 50% uh, of it on the interior. We cannot see the bottom. Uh, the boulders are splayed out from the center in rays that uh, about every eighth of uh, to quarter of a crater, uh, you have a definite ray. Okay, and John, did you get a bag number on and that? Uh, you still want me to take the 500? Ah, uh, yeah, excuse me, it's 373, I think. Yeah, we okay, do. Okay, we copy that. It's in the bottom right. of SCB-7. Yeah, anyway, I I can identify that rock for you. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, Charlie, uh, after Tony, your 500 millimeter, uh, after your 500 millimeter, do the far field pan and the three polarizer settings of the far side of the crater. And then when you follow John along, take the 500 millimeter with you. Okay, you want me to help Tony to get his, I mean, Charlie to get the ro rocks? You want to get the near field first, Charlie? We're not doing We're that. We're not doing an airfield. Yeah, okay. There's Dan. Okay, John, I'm gonna bring a sample bag with that 500 millimeter in it, so we won't. Okay, I got, I got, I've got a sample bag here. Okay. Okay, Tony, I'm starting this uh, polarimetry uh, from. Uh, LMPs. In from about the 10 o'clock position of the rover. 
Okay, you're starting in the right position. And if, yeah, and I'm starting in the right position. I got F6, 125th, at 74. And I'll do a partial pan with each film, with each setting. It's going to be about an eight picture pan. Okay, good show. Man, I wish I could see the bottom of this beauty. I dropped my bags, Charlie. Yeah, you dropped your bags. I thought you dropped them off the rover. Okay, that was in the right, uh, going from right to left in the right setting. Center setting going from left to right. There they are. John didn't see it. Okay, in the left. Okay, Tony, in the left setting, going from right to left. God damn it. Tony, we can look out uh, at the 12, I put my 12 o'clock position here. I can look down and see a, a large block that's on this inner flank here. That I can't, uh, uh... John, is there still something uh, right there? I can't tell you what type it is. Huh? Uh, we thought we saw something still lying there oh, where you fell over. Okay. Okay, Tony, magazine Kilo, I'm up to, uh, 40. With okay. The, uh, with the far field. Okay, very and good. I'm in the left position. I'm going back to the right. Now, now, you want that stereo base, right? That's right. We'd like you to leave the polarizer on and take the 500 millimeter with you also and then range out your 80 meters. You can either take a SCB okay, to show the 500 range. millimeter or stick the 500 millimeter in John's SCB when you're through with it. We'll take one. Okay. I've got one. I've got one, Charlie. Okay, yours fell off. Where's yours? It was on your back. Probably fell off en route. Can't believe it. Coming. Okay, Tony, if that thing fell off, the SCS, uh, the SCSC was in it. Okay. I'll probably get it on the way back, Charlie. Copy that, this is giving us, these things are giving us more trouble in the home. Hey, John, we'll save that one for rocks. I'll put the camera on this one. Okay. Permanently shadowed sample, it's supposed to be in a bag. That's about no, uh, 80 meters, meters right? John. No, it's supposed to be in a bag. You want to get to the bottom of the crater, though. Experiment? I know it, that's a shame. Go ahead, fly. You want the permanently shadowed sample put in a you bag. See that big rock beyond John, Tony? Yeah, we sure do. How about rolling that one over? Yeah, in the documented sample bag, fly. Uh, no way. When you get to a convenient time there, we'd like an EMU check. Flight procedures, we're writing a checkpoint. Okay. Okay, uh... Tony, right under the, uh... Upper 
concerned that uh, Mike oh, might boy. go on that is magazine Mike. Well, no, I was wrong. Like it was a very friable uh, five hour millimeter. Very friable. Looks must must be shot. Uh, white rock with a lot of uh, black glass. Fifty percent of the we glass need a frame five hundred millimeter. We think maybe the glass uh, of the matrix is uh, we need a frame fit. count on the five hundred millimeter because we think maybe yeah, that, again. that magazine. Like about fifty percent of the rock is black glass which was a lot more than the last rock I picked up, and it sure is probable. Probably means it's He's taking a heck of a beat. Up here now. And that's going into bag number 383. Yeah, he does, but uh, uh, we wouldn't want, probably want to use, I guess he would on the 500, though. I guess we should have a frame count before and after these uh, this uh, pan, and that way we would know. Okay, a pan after, I mean a frame count after. Okay, Tony, the pan is complete uh, in all three settings, and I'm up to uh, 165 already. Yeah, we got it. I'm up to 80. And you want a 500 from here also, Tony? Right, sure do. You probably have uh, 20 or 25 pictures left on the 500, so maybe that'll give you the entire uh, inside of the crater there. We'll just shoot up the rest of the roll in there. Okay. Okay. If you're through with your far field, you can just throw that polarizer away. I will in a minute. Okay, you wanted an EMU check. Uh, flags are clear. I'm at 3.8 and uh, intermediate, about intermediate cooling. Okay, and O2.
Okay, we understand. Car ran out. Okay, so we get it. Does he have a magazine with him? The only mag he's got is on his, on his camera. Did they want all the, the, they all the black and white we've got, back too, room? which has 80 frames shot at this Guess point. Guess what, John? What's that, Charlie? My bags fell off. Somewhere. Back room, do you want to well, take I got mine hooked over my little finger. You working at uh, experiments? Go off from there. Experiments, Pike. Go ahead, Pike. You're working at whether you want to use that uh, one magazine he's got on the uh, 500. Look at this rock right here, John. You're gonna waste some time taking You're it off, white. putting it on, and then taking it back. It's, yeah, right. It's and it's uh, it's really shocked. Whatever it is, it's uh, it looks like chalk, Tony. Also, it's so shocked. That, uh, it's about the pebble size, and, and it's broken open. Oh, all right. All right. Let, let, let's make it uh, five centimeters long. Uh, broken open. Well, John, could you, you bring me a... Click off and get this one documented. I'm saying really saying they don't want to waste the time to go back to the rover, show. though. Well, that's back to the rover. We're talking about taking the magazine off his, uh, the other Hasselblad and putting it on there. Let's not do it. No. Okay, the polarizing okay. filter is coming off. I hope. Okay, Charlie, and we'll just call that the end of the 500 millimeter. Okay. Sorry, I ran out of film there. I thought I'd have plenty. Ah, uh, it's all right. Okay, Tony, I'm going back towards the uh, men cooling. I'm getting a little frosty. We copy flight. We see it. Okay. Okay, Houston. Uh, the uh, black glass in this rock are really. Uh, Really black uh, material. It's either a uh, very uh, fine-grained uh, black breccia. I tell you what, it looks like. It looks like that black breccia, uh, fine-grained lining that that had that white class in it on Apollo 15. Although here the matrix is uh, white and the uh, class are black. Okay, understand. How large are the class? Alright, I remember. Is this black breccia frothy too? Uh, three centimeters. No, it's not frothy at all. It's dense. Okay. It could be it could be a very dense uh, salt like rock. It is uh Cleavage, I mean, it looks like it has a 90 degree cleavage on it, and I'm hard foot to tell that. That's just the way it breaks. But it's sure shot. It's too big to go in the bag, but I'm going to put it in there anyway. Okay. At least it has a shot right, experience. Okay. Okay, configuration for the rover. I'm driving but back. But you go to the shovel, right. Charlie. I got it. I'm rear sorry. I thought you weren't using it. Left and right rear. I was going to get this one over here. Okay. Bus Baker. Yeah, I finally got the polarizing filter off, Tony. Oh, okay. Okay, looking Say back again. from where we are, Tony, towards the uh, west, uh, south, rather, steer, two, I can three, see three, south right. Steering, steer, yeah. that's right. That leaves the nav on eight, on uh, battery one and two. Okay. I'd like to make sure that uh, we're not overlooking something here, Charlie. That's why I'd like to go on down to that black rock down there, John. <laughs> you really got your eye on, I tell. Big one. Yeah. Okay, here's a small secondary up here on top of the, uh, of the, of the rim. It's about a meter across, about a, a meter deep, and it has uh, either angular, very angular black glass or part of this black rock in total, and they must be, uh, they must be uh, four or five centimeters across in there, and I'll get or two of those babies. Hey, John, can I get a bag from you? Sure. Took my nomen. You'll have to get the... You'll have to get the shadda for scaling, Houston. Here you go. Okay. 
Okay, Tony, I picked up that white, uh... I get it for you. Thank you. That white shocked uh, rock, it's, uh, broken two, and there are two, two pieces of it. Partially documented, a before's anyway, in 384. Okay, back 384. And I'm going back and get some bags. I got Charlie Show for scale for the proportion. You can almost get local vertical on the shovel because you have to balance it before it'll stand up. Okay. Well, we want Charlie to take the rake out with him. How about you want to take the rake over there to experiment? Yeah, stand out. I think probably do. Yeah, I think we do. Okay, right? let's have it. Do the rake. Go ahead, uh, Capcom, take the rake. Do the rake, get the rover, Flank. Okay, uh, Charlie, did you bring the 500 millimeter back with you? You don't want to take the rake out? See, we'll, we'll do the rake. Uh, no, we're point over, it's done.